assholes, if you know what's good for you. Hello again, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And it's Scatchimp here, and we are playing some more Mafia 2. So, uh, in the last episode, I was arrested for uh, selling ration coupons. And here I am now, in La Prison. He's so sad. Oh, shit. This was gonna be my new home for the next <laughs> ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Three days later, you get let out. After three action packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Uh, Leo Galante. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get out of my face! So how many years then? I'm too good with arithmetic. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Hey, buddy, beat it. It looks so horrible. Oh no! Close. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get out of my face! I just found a Playboy magazine. Sorry, guys, I gotta cut that out. Eight hundred and seventy fucking six. What? You're counting it in days? How much is it in years? I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. So if it were just two years, that would be a. You hear about Dan? Heard they got him in the showers. Yeah. Hey, those fucking I need to talk to Leo Galante. Nothing about him. I got and this nothing time, to say. He ended up in the infirmary. Would they rip his rear end open or something? <laughs> no, mm. they broke his fucking skull. Go, man, go. You got it. Make your time. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. You make your time. I was wondering. No chance. You think you could teach no me some of that shit you guys do? What are you talking about? Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Your fortune for today is get the fuck away from me. Idiot. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! Guess what this is? Fight it. This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Guess who that is? Leo Galante. I'm Take gonna break you, Diego! fucking brain! Oh. Come Yeah! Uh. Kick his fucking dick! You and your boyfriend ass. Barbaro are dead! <laughs> Fight! This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved the potato up your mother's ass. Kick his teeth in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, kill him. Oh, you ain't skinny little. And it. Oh. Step it up. back. Okay, Did you hear me? Enough. Break it Get out of here. Both of you are going in a hole. And now, going in the hole. We're gonna give you a little time to think Dick. about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. That looks like a comfy bed. Wish I could uh, live in the hole. Who How the long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. 
You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. You guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Right. Shoot. a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Punch. Footwork, oh, Pepe. Remember That's your good. footwork. Oh. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. You All right, just because, you know. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. <laughs> Nice, kid. Nice. nice. Give me two more. Ah. All right, one oh, more of you. Shit, that had to hurt. Ah. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family oh, once man. you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... Well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Ah, <sighs> get to know the other guys will leave the gym. Come on, give me another 20. I'll just leave, because talking to them doesn't actually get you anything. It is just, just talking. What you wear, you walk right long. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante, <laughs> crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Well, <laughs> looks like you got yourself a rematch. So and none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. So, yeah. yeah. Light punches. Hey, wear them does Vito get a fortune punches. cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? Let's <laughs> <laughs> neck cracking. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Oh no. Ah, oh. I need to learn that style. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah. Ay ya, should have studied more. <laughs> 对对,就是这个那样子,当一,当一,当一,就是这个那样子,对,快点听一下,快点听。哎呀,this yeah. no happen if you use tiger style.Should I use tiger style?One week later.Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Dum 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 dum. Dum dum dum. It's very dark, this prison. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Okay. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Sorry, I hit the mic there. The who? It's Mr. Galante. It's Pepe, too. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Kinda looks like Want Patrick training Wolf. today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Oh, you know. I'm just like, Hope yep. you meatballs getting ready to lose. <coughs> Oh no, my frame rate's yeah, dropped right there. That's the way down. to do it, my brother. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Oh Jesus Christ! Come on, Vito, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> oh come on, my grandmama hit me harder than that. I oh, know. God damn, guy. look at that! I just <laughs> pity the fool. <laughs> Laying down on the job like <laughs> always. Man, who taught his brother how to fight? Ah. Ha ha! Ain't so bad now, are you? Ah. Eh? What the fuck just oh. happened? Now oh. then, grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next week. Punch, punch. Oh. Kicking the your head. Your little cracker going down! I'm gonna die. Huh? Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Hell Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. Nothing's going on. What the on. hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Got a visitor? Meh. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Didn't even know she had a Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito. There's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. 
you get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Poor Ma. Boy, bam, boy. Another week later. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Mm. Let's go. I gotta follow the guy. Excuse me for one moment. <coughs> Need to cough. Ugh. I don't know if you can hear that, but the phone's ringing. I ain't answering that. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, you go. Make them spot down now. Hurry it up. Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean. All right, all right. Jeez. Guys got no culture. Clean, clean. I could be a cleaning man. So. Instead of robbing stuff. Look at that shine. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. What a dick. <coughs> Seems like I got some stuck in my throat. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Uh, Clean it again. What a bum face. Now you're gonna go take a shit or something. Or a poop. I was just about to say, I was gonna say earlier I'm gonna try and try and cut down my uh, swearing and bad mouthing and bad language on my videos. I didn't say it though, but now I did. Alright, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. Oh uh, no. I'm allergic to All right, Skeletta. Get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? <whistles> Tight jeans, double D's, makes his ass go. Which one? This one. Ah. Rub my nipples. Do, 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 do. I need cough again, Reese. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. <coughs> hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here. Oh, that's huh? a guy I talked to. Her Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We all know what happens in prison showers. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you I don't want to rough. Dragon in the shower. <laughs> nah, 
It's party time. Punch, punch, punch in slow motion because the frame rate dropped right down. Poo, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Don't you be checking out my dick. Oh, ow. This could have been so much. Fuck, this guy's a fighter, huh? Oh man, should have used finishing moves. I keep keep beating him up. I'm doing fun way. <laughs> man actually kills us, of course. Hurry up, John. We ain't got long. Ow. Don't knock him out. I want to hear him scream. Come on, Ow. take him down. I would knock your foot. Kicking somebody like that. <laughs> ah! More of them. It's really hard to keep fighting when everything's all fucking red and all grey. Boosh! Boosh! Yeah. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? <laughs> I didn't want my butt brand traded. Go on, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. What could it be? It's a bill. No, 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 no! Fuck! Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. That would suck. That would really suck. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? Even on the last it looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. Right, I was gonna end the episode here. I'll wait out here. But... If the guards get back early, nah. I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Do this bit. Constant cutscenes, so you knew. So you knew. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Uh. Come here, Mary. My name ain't Again. Oh. I don't think so. Oh. He sucks. Nice shot, Mary. Oh. Me ma used to hit harder than that. He's not very good at fighting, like. We. Jesus, the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl. Little girl. No, you just need to stop dying. Try again, little okay. man. Is that all? Oh, oh had enough. Ah. Uh. My face, my pretty face. <laughs> and uh, oh shit, he got a knife. <laughs> Looks like a steak knife. <laughs> oh, 
Shut the fuck up. Uh, Vito, you just killed a dude in prison. You probably ain't gonna get away from it. Away from it? Away with it. It all worked out just fine. Oh. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on Fla Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You nope. see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcon. Carlo Falcon. The other is Frank Vinci. Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? Mm. But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Yes, boss. Nom, 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 nom. Haku. <sighs> Loading and saving. Chapter 7. In loving memory of Francesco Potenza. Empire Bay, April 10th, 1951. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Now, we're in almost the swinging 60s, except it's still the 50s. And I think here would be a good place to end it for this episode. So, <coughs> so cough, cough. So, uh, thanks very much for watching this week, hey, guys. Get a to Mafia 2. Go get a life yourself, you old man. Uh, playing some Mafia 2. We're now into chapter 7. Um, yeah. So thanks very much for watching. I appreciate any comments down below. And any likes, any subscriptions, anything you would love to do for me. Because I'd love for you to do it. Wink. <gasps> Bye.